Hi everybody, Facebook Friday time. Hope you've had a great week. It's been an interesting week here. Had a puking kid, rainy weather. It's been, I don't know, I'm ready for the weekend. Although this weekend is gonna be crazy too. I feel like crazy is my word of the year. Do you guys feel like that sometimes? I should just pick crazy. <laughs> Hi everybody. I am hoping I'm in the right place. Please tell me. Oh, I see some of you familiar faces. So today I'm not even using Wi-Fi. I'm using my, what do you call it? My data on my phone. Our, our Wi-Fi has been terrible. Hi, Darcy. Thanks so much for joining me, you guys. I'm going to try to pull it up on my iPad, but I may not even have Wi-Fi on there. All right, I see you guys joining me. I'm going to jump in pretty quick today because I don't have a lot to tell you. I really would like to be able to see your comments a little bit better on my iPad, but it's not working. Um... You guys, am I in the right place? I am, right? Why is it not coming up? Well, I'm not gonna waste too much time. We'll see if I see some random relatives or neighbors jump on. That's when I know I'm in the wrong place. Okay, I can see it now. All right, good. Okay, so um, this week is all about Valentine's. Hey, love, have you guys been seeing lots of things pop up online with this? I've been seeing lots of samples. And um, one thing I noticed is that they all are using the same color scheme. And I wanted to do something different. I was trying to feel inspired. I was like, okay, let's think of something totally different that's, that's not gonna be like everything else. And I think I've come up with some really different things, some really kind of fun, weird things. Um, so this is a stamp set. It is in the occasions catalog, like the third or fourth page in. And it doesn't have framelits or punch, it's just the stamp set by itself. And it's, let's see if I have it on my sheet, $19, that's all, $19. Now, if you guys have never joined me for Facebook Friday, hopefully, if the stars are aligned, my blog post goes up at exactly the same time I go live. And you will find all the details for today's projects. There um, are three projects, plus I put up the picture from Tuesday's project. And underneath that project, there will be a link with a PDF. Looks like this. It has the projects, um, all the stuff you need, as well as the measurements. And then the second page, also right here. Up here, at the top, it's probably backwards what I'm showing you now, is the host code. Anytime, if you put an order between now and Monday at midnight and you use that host code, I'm going to send you today's make and takes for free on Tuesday. Or, eh, it's going to be Wednesday next week. I'll tell you more about next week. Um, but it'll be Wednesday, maybe even Thursday next week. But I'll get them in the mail to you and they'll be free. Uh, the minimum is, I always have to check myself, $30. And you have to use that host code. That's how I know you want them. Or if you're putting in a big order, and it's over $150, don't use that host code because then you get stamp and rewards. That's like what we used to call host benefits. You get free stuff. And I want you guys to get that free stuff if you're over $150. Um, I still will send you those make and takes. Um, so don't worry about that. So always, if your order is at 150 or more, don't use the host code, okay? Don't worry, I'll see your order in there. Um, so Monday by midnight and then Tuesday, I write everybody's name down. I print a label for everybody and then I start cutting and making those projects for you. Um, also, um, if you can see behind me, can you guys see on my countertop back there? I am sorting a ton of my meant to be classes. Thank you everybody for your orders. You guys are really, my Valentine's class is probably one of my highest classes each year and this one did not disappoint. Um, I, don't, I don't even have enough room on my cabinet back there to sort all of them out. But I am working on those yesterday, today, hopefully um, over the weekend because Monday, next week is show week for my girls. My girls show animals for 4-H and FFA. And if you're not familiar with 4-H and FFA, it's um, a program for kids. They learn all about agriculture and raising animals. There's other things too. There's Oh, um, textiles and arts and crafts and cooking. And anyway, my kids do animal projects. And here at the local high school, they actually have a FFA program where the kids can follow kind of a, a path up through high school. And my daughter, who's a sophomore, has decided she wants to be a veterinarian um, for now. 
because of this program. But anyway, next week is our show week, which means the little ones, my little girls, who are not so little anymore, fourth and sixth grade, they have been raising rabbits since the beginning of December. And Monday, they pack up their rabbits and we take them to the show early in the morning and we stay at the show all day. We stay there till like eight or nine o'clock at night. Um, they're judged on their meat, their meat pen rabbits, I know. Don't go there, don't think about it. Um, but if they place in the auction, then they get money, thousands of dollars for scholarships, uh, um, for college and stuff like that. So it's a really cool program. So that's Monday, and then Tuesday, my daughter, a high schooler, shows her goat, and I will be there most of the day too, Tuesday. So next week, there will not be a Tuesday Facebook Live. I have Friday's projects planned, so there will be a Friday next week, but there won't be a Tuesday. If I can squeeze in one more project, I will do, I will probably go live um, Wednesday, maybe. I don't know. It's going to be tough. So just plan on Friday next week, okay, you guys? Typically, I like to do a midweek on Tuesdays, but next week, we've got too many family things going on during the day that I won't have the time to even plan for it. Okay, so with all that being said, meant to be class will be shipped out. Wednesday or Thursday next week. That's why I got to work on it this weekend because Monday and Tuesday I'm out of the office. Um, and I have another class coming, but it's not quite ready. So if you want a sneak peek of it, it's on the PDF. It's the super fun, sweetest thing bundle. It's the candy, um, you know, the jars of candy. is really, really cute. Um, and I love it so much. And it's actually behind me over there, if you can kind of see it. Um, I will announce that later on next week probably midweek. Um, the PDF is almost ready and I have to upload all kinds of things. So be on the lookout for that. Don't order that this weekend if you want to get in on that class. You can order your product as part of the class. Okay, so PDF over at pinkbuckaroo.com. That's my blog. Um, I It should be right at the top today. When I'm done with the video, I'll add in the link for you so you can have a direct link over there. Um, also, I want to remind you that it's celebration, and if my catalog wasn't in there from when I was typing up everything today, I would hold it up. Um, actually, let's see. Yep, I have one right here. What demonstrator doesn't have more than one catalog? You guys know it's celebration season. Celebration means free stuff. So from now until March 31st, you get to pick something free from this catalog with every $50 purchase. There's also the incredible starter kit deal, and I would be remiss if I did not mention it. I want you guys to look, if you have your um, celebration catalog, turn over to page four, and it's gonna explain it to you. For $99, you get $175 of product, anything you want from the occasions, annual catalog, or even clearance rack. And that's it. There's nothing, there's no real strings attached. Um, after that, you get a 20% discount until the end of June. I mean, hello. And then if you don't spend $300 by June 30th, you just drop back to a customer. So I want you guys to know if you're interested in that, if you're curious about that, that's it. There's nothing hidden and weird and secretive. Sometimes people are like, well, what's the catch? There, there really is no catch. Um, you get $175 in product for $99, free shipping, and then a 20% discount until the end of June. So if your order or your wish list is super big, you need to look at this because it's a great deal. I've had, we've had 33 people join my team since celebration started. That's huge. People are taking advantage because this is an amazing deal. Now here's the bag. I've shown you guys the bag. It's right there in the corner today. Um, if you want that bag, the only way you can get it is a starter kit. Um, no, Debbie, I'm sorry. I'm gonna start stop what I'm saying because I see Debbie's comment. $300, no, total, quarterly. That's a quarterly minimum, not monthly. That would be a lot. $300 between now and June, June 30th. You, you guys don't start until the quarter after you join. So that would be April, May, and June. So $300 by June 30th. Yes, I know. I'm sorry if I didn't clarify that. That bag right there is option two during celebration. You get still for, you get $175 in product and the bag and free shipping. And that option is $129. So I just want to make you guys aware. It's a really good deal. 
I can't let you not know about that deal because it's so good. And then, of course, the Occasions Catalog. If you don't have these and you'd like them, send me a message. I'd be happy to send them to you in the mail. I have a lot of them. Okay, I think we're ready to stamp. I said I wasn't going to talk very long, and that was a lot of talking. Okay, I'm going to flip you guys over. Um, I'm not super fancy. I'm just going to cover you with my thumb for just one second. Now, if you were with me on Tuesday, you got to hear the craziness of Charlie the Schnauzer. Charlie is our schnauzer rescue. He is eight years old, and we say he's a grumpy old man. He uh, is very, very grumpy, and he feels like we're under attack at all times. About people who come to the door. So <laughs> the weirdest thing happened um, on Tuesday, and not only did the um, FedEx man come, but so did the neighbor kid who was supposed to be in school. And Charlie really, really, really hates him. He's my daughter's best friend, and we don't know why. He's the cutest little boy, but Charlie hates him. So when Charlie saw him at the door, he went ballistic. I deal with that, you guys, on a daily basis. After the kids get home, it is pure chaos around here. No one would ever sneak in or out of this house, I can tell you that right now, because Charlie would let me know. Okay, here's what we're doing today, you guys. And you know what I just realized? I didn't tell you who won prizes. Let's let's do prizes. And you know what's super funny is that prizes from last week actually are the stamp sets we're using. So Hey Love and the, bur the um, Flax Ribbon. And I give away these prizes, one for sharing. I pick somebody who has shared the video and two um, over on my blog, there's a raffle copter. You just enter your information and it picks somebody for me also. So the winners for last week are Janelle Gressman. And Janelle, I have your mailing address. And Julie Kopp, Julie, I have yours too. So congratulations, ladies. Thanks for sharing the video and thanks for entering. I will get these out tomorrow. All right. Um, I also have another winner um, on my Facebook Live on Tuesday. I forgot to pull out a prize. I said it was going to be really good. Look, it's really good. So Dawn Hutchins, I have your mailing address too. All three of these ladies I knew this this week. Um, so Dawn, congratulations. Thanks for sharing my video. I will get this one out to you too. All right. So this week's prizes are, here comes the sun. It's a host set. Really cute. And how about an Occasions Catalog Ribbon Share? All right, so you can win this two ways. Share the video here on Facebook or, um, it, not or, let's say and. And go over to my blog, scroll to the bottom, and there's this little thing you type your name in and your email address. And I even asked this week for suggestions. Um, I would love to have some direction when I'm planning. So if you guys have um, a specific product that you'd like to see or technique or something in the next few weeks on Facebook Friday, please go over there and let me know, okay? All right, so this is what you're, you're entering for and you're sharing for this week. And look, here's the make and takes. I always pull these out so you guys can know what they look like. The make and takes when they come to you for free. They come like this. You have a direct link to the video. I make you a little tag and they're all in here. Everything's scored and punched and ready for you to stamp, okay? So free with a $30 order by Monday at midnight. And of course, if your order is $50, you're gonna get this tutorial bundle. It has 12 tutorials in it, it's a PDF designed by all these amazing ladies. And if you ordered this week, I'm getting ready to send them out. I try to send them out on Fridays. Sometimes I forget and do it on Mondays. I send them once a week, okay? So this is available to you if you spend $50, as well, of course, as a free product from here. This I will email to you, all right? We are ready to stamp. So Tuesday, we did the otter. Super fun and cute. I wish the dog hadn't ruined it and been all grouchy because it was so cute. Oh well. And then today, we're gonna do these. So you can see they're non-traditional. They are not your typical Valentine colors. I did that on purpose because I feel like we kind of maybe want something new. I always love Valentines that are catchy and kind of silly. Um, when my girls were little, especially, I would try to always come up with something kind of fun and funny for them. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to start with the skunk. And I mentioned to you guys, 
Let's see, let me grab my tray. I have everything on a tray, you guys, in case you're wondering behind the scenes. Here's this tray. I put everything here and I try to be super organized. It doesn't always happen. So I try to go and look all over the place for things that would go, that would coordinate with these critters. So a skunk, of course, you're thinking stinky. What could we get that's stinky? Well, how about something that helps with the stinky? How about one of these little room sprays? Again, Bath and Body Works for the win, you guys. They're $6 each, so they're not cheap. You wouldn't wanna buy like 100. Well, maybe you would, but I wouldn't. Um, this would be perfect for like a girlfriend or maybe a coworker, somebody that shares um, an office with you. Um, I specifically try to think of things that don't include candy because I'm always on a total like, you know, no candy, um, trend for like January, February, trying to recover from Christmas. So maybe you have a friend who's dieting um, and you wanna give them something fun, but not candy. This would be perfect. So that's what we're gonna make. And you know what, I just linked up to this on my blog and there's a ton. My Bath and Body Works didn't have a huge selection, but there's a huge selection online. So I was looking for rose flavored or scented, but this is the closest I came. Anyways, it's fun. All right, let's get started. Let me pull out all of my paper. We're gonna start with gray granite. Let's make this box first. Um, you guys, I have recorded these as clean recordings, so if you come back to make these, um, go to YouTube by, hopefully by tomorrow, they'll all be up. So you don't have to go through all my chit chat and dog barking and all that. Hopefully it'll be a clean recording for you and it won't be crazy. All right, so again, measurements are right here on this PDF. This is gray granite, six and a half by eight. We're gonna score the long side at one and a half and six and a half. Score the short side at one and a half, three, four and a half, and six. Another reason I record the clean recordings, you guys, is to fix any mess ups, because sometimes my measurements are wrong. They are. I would say every week I probably have something typed wrong on there. Um, so when I do a clean recording of it ahead of time and I mess up, I can stop the recording and fix it and start over. But when we're live, it's a little harder to do that. So it's a nice little dress rehearsal for Facebook Friday. It is more work, but it's all right because I feel like I'm much more prepared for you guys. Hey, everybody who's jumping on, I am glad you're here. All right, so I ran my bone folder all, all over those folds. Oh, before I cut, I've got a stamp, and I haven't even told you what else we're using with this. Stinky um, skunk. Smelly Rose. I was thinking of, what's the little skunk's name, the cartoon, Pepe Le Pew? And doesn't he always have like a rose? So I real quick looked through all my stamps and I thought, okay, brand new climbing roses from the Occasions catalog. That will be perfect. So I'm gonna get my gray granite and I'm just gonna stamp all over. I'm gonna turn my rose different. I don't want it like uniform. I just want it kind of falling. We're just kind of creating some interest so it's not just a boring gray box. And you could, if you were only, you know, making one or two, you could actually color these in or you could add some Wink of Stella to them. Okay, so there we go, we've got that. Now, let's cut. Here's that end piece that's just a half inch tab. I want you to cut off those ends like that and then cut this one at an angle. Okay, so cut off these tiny little rectangles here and cut this at an angle. And then go up with your scissors and stop right there at the score line and then turn to the other side and do the same thing. My oldest daughter is home today, so she's gonna save us from the Charlie craziness if it, if it begins. He is sound asleep in her lap watching Gilmore Girls, so hopefully he will not bother us. All right, so we've got a random little paper here. Put your adhesive, you wanna use a strong adhesive like Fast Fuse or Tear and Tape on here, on this skinny tab, and then fold it in half and it'll line up perfectly like that. All right, now, <laughs> 
<laughs> whatever that is, it's sticking to me. Now here, that crease where our pieces met, that's gonna be on the back side. So you're gonna fold in your backside tab first. And I'm gonna put this in now because it's easier when I have something to press down these ends on. All right, so push down your bottom tab, your back tab, and then we're gonna fold in the sides just putting a little adhesive on each and last is the front tab because then that's going to create that nice rounded folded edge we're going to do the same with the top except we're not going to adhere those we don't have to we don't want them to have to rip the box open um, just to you know destroy the box so what i'm going to do is close everything and just put a glue dot right there on the very top one and that'll hold it closed long enough um, for you to give it to them Okay, now we're gonna color our skunk and we're gonna color the rose also. And I, you know what, let me grab my chamois because we're gonna need it several times today. Here's my Simply Chamois. It looks so gross, but it is freshly washed. Make sure everything's nice and clean. All right, uh-oh, it's a little bit too wet. All right, let's stamp this rose. What is happening with this? Okay, stamp the rose in Memento, and I'm stamping on thick Whisper White because I prefer to color with my blends on thick Whisper White. Now with your skunk, you have two options. We have basic black blends that were in the holiday catalog and now they're carrying over, um, so they're still current. And we also have um, smoky slate. I'm going to use smoky slate on the gorilla in a little while, but I wanted to use basic black on the skunk because I want you to see just how dark it is. This is the light, um, the light basic black. That's kind of hard to say because it seems like it doesn't go together. The light basic black. Did I do it wrong already? Oh goodness. All right, flip it over. No, we can't flip it over. I did him opposite. Hold on. And I was just thinking of saying, be careful, don't color the wrong parts of your skunk. Let's see, in my video, I colored the flower all pink and didn't leave the leaves. So now, take two. All right. That is white. He is white along his back. He has a white stripe on his back. So that part right there stays white. And we're gonna go all the way around and I'm using the brush tip of my Stampin' Blends because I'm just doing little flicks of color because this black is so dark. It is very, very dark. Um, it's good when you really need a dark black, but you're not gonna be able to do a whole lot of shading. Um, so if you want to do a whole lot of shading, then you need to use your Smoky Slate. You'll see when I do the Gorilla, how he, even though Smoky Slate is a very light, um, let me look at my sample, make sure I'm coloring the right ones. Um, even though Smoky Slate is a very light gray, when you add layers of it, it darkens up and it looks like it's totally right when you need a black. Um, before we had basic black, Smoky Slate is what I used. All right, so there we go. Now you can take your, um, Gail, I'm laughing at your um, comments. Charlie, I know, he's such a mess. All right, take your dark, if you want, and just add a little bit there, just kind of along the line to add some dimension. But again, be very careful. It's very dark. All right, now, my goodness. Now take your dark, lovely lipstick and color in the little hearts. All right, there's our skunk. And let's get the light, lovely lipstick and color in our rose from the Climbing Rose stamp set. And we're gonna take the dark, doesn't it look very Melon Mambo, the light, Lovely lipstick, looks very much like Melon Mambo, but when you add in the dark, it really reddens it up. 
Um, Lovely Lipstick is a great kind of a combo of pink and red. It's a pinky red and a reddish pink. <laughs> I really like it. I've used it a lot. It's an in color, which means we only get it for two years unless it comes back someday when they do a color refresh. All right, so Old Olive Light, Old Olive Dark. We're going to punch our skunk out with our two inch circle punch. Hi guys. Hi Sam. Sam, I didn't find your Bluetooth. I'm sorry. I looked and looked and looked and I did not see it. Okay, let's see. What am I going to do? I can't talk and focus. <laughs> we need to cut this out. The lovely Climbing Rose framelits have a matching framelit, of course, and then we're going to use this beautiful thing. This is going to cut us a trellis. So bring over your big shot. And I'm going to get some Blushing Bride and put down our trellis and our flower. Now this is a little framelit and they jump around sometimes. Oh, he's going to behave. And when you, if your little framelits jump around on your magnetic platform, just move. I guess I'm not really in the screen. My camera's pointed higher than normal. Let me move this up. Just move your magnet to wherever it wants to go and then move your paper there. Um, if you try to force a magnet to go where it doesn't want to go, it is not going to go there. All right, there we've got our flower. Put my framelit back where it goes so it doesn't get lost. And then this one, let's see. Woo, look at that. Man, that comes out so nice. And it's going to make a big mess. Let me get my foam mat and my dye brush. And this is just going to make everything come out super easy. Ta-da! Isn't that fun? I can see lots of uses for this little trellis. All right, I think we are almost ready. Let me stamp. Let's see, which paper did I need to use? Let's stamp the sentiment. And we're just going to do a little scrap. Stinking sweet. Thanks for sharing the video, you guys. I do really appreciate that. All right, there we go. Memento Black. All right, this is Petal Promenade. Look, more roses for our stinky skunk. And I'm just going to cut this like that. This, this piece, and I didn't put the measurements down on this. I think it's one and a fourth by three. And then if you have a paper trimmer, which I think I have mine right here, you're going to just cut your sentiment out. It would help if it wasn't crooked on all the sides. Let's do that. And I'm going to do the same thing. Cut these at an angle like that. All right, I think we are ready to assemble. Now, you could put the multi-purpose adhesive sheet on the back of this um, if you'd like to. That would help it stick on a card. But if you put it on here, see how all of this stickiness would be exposed. So what I'm doing is I'm putting some fast fuse right there because that's going to be totally covered up. And then I'm going to take some mini glue dots and just put them right underneath in just a few little places. You can even fold them in half if you need them to be skinnier like that. Now, of course, we need some dimensionals because we love dimensionals. All right, now we're going to put that like that and we're going to get this ribbon. Did you see how I did the ribbon there? It looks like there's a bow behind there, but there's not. I'm going to take it like I'm going to make a bow, but I'm just going to fold it in half like that. Just two little loops. And then on the back here, you can put a little bit of adhesive and just smush it down on the back. I want one of those pointing up. No, I had them, but well, one's going to point up this time and one's going to point down. And then for extra security, we'll put a dimensional right on top of it, okay? See how cute that looks? And no bows required. You're just looping your ribbon. All right, so we can use that dimensional there and we can add another one for good measure. And we're gonna put him right here. 
And the little stinkin' sweets goes right there. Oops, you know what? I want it skinnier than that. Let's make it skinnier. There we go. And last but not least, we need a mini dimensional for the rose. A mini dimensional goes right here on our rose. And there you have it, guys. What do you think? This one needs a little glue dot. It's not staying closed. This would be a fun, like, girlfriend, you know, treat. Like for your friends, for your coworkers, for those mom friends, gal pals those you work out with, you know, just taking them something fun. Something else I did that I did not, I don't know if I put this in the PDF, but, and you know what I'm just noticing? First, let me tell you, take your wink of Stella and just give him a little bit of shimmer. I'm realizing the PDF does not have the number for the black blends. I will fix that in case you want to find those. All right, there we go. What do you guys think? Tell me. Yeah, kind of funny, kind of silly, kind of weird, but it's still cute. All right, good. I'm glad you like it. I'm going to move this tray out of the way and bring over the gorilla or the ape project. I think it's my favorite one of the three. And we're going to use those smoky slate blends this time to color our gorilla ah thanks guys wow that's a lot of hearts thank you so much okay so here he is see how he's i use smoky slate but it's the right color even though i think gorillas are more grayish those silver back gorillas i don't know it's a cartoon gorilla i don't need to overthink it Okay, let's get started. Let me get all of my things here. You're going to need to start with a piece of Granny Apple Green. Let me bring my stamp, my trimmer, stamp and trim. This is not a trimmer. What is this called? My Simply Scored back over. This piece is six and a half and six and three fourths. Remember, it's right there. Okay, six and a half by six and three fourths. Let's start with the long side. On the long side, we're going to do half an inch, two and a half, three and five eighths, five and five eighths, right there. Five eighths is just that one tick mark over half. You can just count your little tick marks. One, two, three, four, five. All right, now turn it on the short side, and we're going to do one and an eighth, and five and three eighths. All right, now get your bone folder and burnish all those lines. I'm glad you guys like those. Yes, that trellis die, Shannon, is beautiful. I haven't really played with that stamp set at all other than this. I used the trellis one other time, um, but it's a beautiful set, the uh, stamps and the framelits. Okay, again, like last time, here's that skinny tab. We're gonna cut off those little rectangles on the corner and cut the, the big tab at an angle. Then we're going to cut each of these score lines like, whoops, that one's a little crooked, like that. And then I want you to go back to the beginning Here's our skinny, right? Here's our skinny. These two right here, we're gonna cut these in half long ways. There's no mark, don't get your ruler out, don't worry too much about it, just cut it in half. It's a tab that's gonna fold in your box only, it's not gonna show, but cutting it in half is gonna make that box close much easier, okay? All right, before we put it together, let's put the DSP on here. This is the Tropical Escape Designer Series paper that came out last June in the annual catalog, and I thought it was perfect for this. Um, I'm using different pa different pattern, and I'll show you the other one. I've actually done three. Now this will be the third pattern. So you can do all different ones from that pack of paper. Okay, now let's put it together. You're gonna take, here's the skinny tab, just for reference. These squares, I want you to fold them in and put a little bit of adhesive, tear and tape or fast views, or Tombow if you're a fan of Tombow, and then you fold it in, all right? And you make that little box. Oh, 
I didn't even tell you guys what's inside. And look, I glued that on the bottom. Oh, and you guys didn't even tell me. I was trying to get fancy and do it ahead of time. Oh, well. All right, let's make the box and then I'll cut another piece of paper. Then it'll, we'll pretend like it was supposed to be there. All right, so would you guys like to know what's inside? I can't believe I didn't even tell you. Hello, that's the fun part. Okay, these are banana now and laters, and they are 25 cents at five below, so you can get four perfectly in this box. And of course, you would need banana flavored something for your gorilla, right? Yep, oops. Cut these at an angle too. It makes things so much easier when you cut your tabs at an angle. All right, where's my mind today? Forgetting to do important things. All right, there we go. Let's close it up. And let me cut another piece of designer series paper because I screwed it up. See, I was bragging, that's what happened. I was bragging how I I made clean recordings so I wouldn't make any mistakes. Oh, well. Let's see. One and seven eighths by four inches. All right. But I think it looks nice on both sides. That is where we want it, right there. Okay, so if you don't have a lot of paper, <laughs> make sure it goes on the top. All right, grab a piece of granny apple green the strip of cardstock and wrap it around your box and you're gonna match the the little crease marks like that so that it'll fit it perfectly oh UPS man's here but he's driving past oh my goodness I got a delivery this morning it's all right all right see how that slides that's gonna be our belly band to go around our box okay let's do the gorilla let's do it he's so cute He's a happy gorilla. He's not a scary gorilla. We're going to stamp him in um, memento black. You know, um, Karen, I remember seeing that go by and I couldn't remember if she said the right thing. I think it was uh, Carla, wasn't it Carla, who said banana flavored now and later? Carla, are you still here? I think I saw her jump on. Yeah. I know, and I was trying to find just banana runts, but I didn't find those, but those are cool too. All right, start with Smoky Slate. And you know what else I really like is the banana chips, you know, in like the natural foods, the dried banana chips. Those are good too. Those would go really well with him. Um. So Shannon, those um, now and laters were at five below. Do you guys have five below where you live? It's relatively new here in San Antonio, um, but I looked online and they have them on Amazon too. Five below has a great candy section. I always go to five below when I need some inspiration, some candy inspiration. All right, now I'm gonna go back with my dark smoky slate. I'm just gonna kind of go around his belly. I'm gonna go around the crease there. Go under his arm, create a shadow there. And you know, somebody told me, who was it? Maybe it was at my team meeting. Um, I put Swedish fish in my otter treat, treat cup. Um, they suggested goldfish. Wouldn't that be cute like for little ones, for toddlers? Goldfish would be great. Okay, so do you see how I blended that dark color? Oops, I'm getting messy, I'm trying to hurry. All right, I'm going back with a light around his face. I'm gonna leave that inside part of his face white. All right, go around again with the dark. <laughs> He's so cute. And then just blend that out. All right, oh, I just gave him a gray beard. Oh well. All right, light smoky slate right here. He has kind of like two sections of his belly and I'm just gonna go on the outside there. Leave the inside white and leave his face mostly white if you're not in a hurry. Then grab your, see, doesn't that look dark? 
I don't know, I think it looks pretty good. You know, one thing I did do, I think, is I actually went in with my light basic black one more time and just kind of went under things to give it a little more depth there and then blend it out. I know I was trying to hurry so that I wouldn't waste too much time guys. There we go. Ooh, now that looks good. I like that little bit of basic black. All right, I'm going to take my dark. Oh, I forgot to color his hands. Oh, well, we're going to leave it. I did that in the other video too. We're going to color that little heart with dark, lovely lipstick. And then I wanted him to have some cute cheeks. And this is, oh, I'm gonna forget. This is Petal Pink Dark. There he is, so cute. All right, now, grab your tiny little scissors. It's time to fussy cut. I know everybody is a fan. I know everybody loves it. I'm being sarcastic. All right, I cut off all the extra. Now look, you could just do that and he'd still be cute, right? If you really hate fussy cutting, just punch him out with a circle. But if you're like me and you kind of enjoy it, get your sharpest, smallest pair of scissors. I highly recommend these Stampin' Up! Paper Snips. They're $10. Add them to your next order. You will never regret it. They are so good and they make fussy cutting really easy. If you try to fussy cut with large scissors, you're not going to be very successful. You got to use tiny scissors. And I just leave a little white cloud around him, a little outline of white, and that's going to blend in. You're not going to see that. Your eye, the eye is only going to see that black line. All right. Now I had to use, when I started this gorilla, I said I had to use this. This is the leaf ribbon in the annual catalog. And if I can find my glue dots, we're going to kind of manipulate this ribbon and make it do what we want. We're going to start up here at the top with a glue dot like that. And then I'm going to get it. I'm just going to kind of go around where I want these leaves and I'm going to press them in. I'm going to put a glue dot there each time. Okay. And then let's go around kind of towards the bottom. Make sure I'm putting my glue dots in the right place. One more right there. Now, the one thing I did is I took my glue dots then and kind of took some of these that are going in these leaves and flipped them over with a glue dot like that. All right because mine were kind of all wanting to fold in and you know, we take up a lot of space there with that gorilla. Now that one probably does need to go in. Okay, we'll, we'll put him on here and we'll see what it looks like. Let's go ahead and stamp the sentiment. I'm, what does it say? I'm ape over you, memento black on whisper white. And then grab your trimmer. I keep putting it upside down. Okay, we're getting a little crazy on the table. Too much stuff. All right, we're just gonna cut it down. We want it to just be tall enough for those words. And then, down here on this side, I'm gonna, you could use one of your punches, but I'm just gonna do one line in the middle and then from each corner, go up to the top of that line and it makes a perfect flag. All right, now let's move these. We've got these pieces. I'm gonna put them in a safe place so I don't lose them because we've gotta do some, um, some leaves. This is, these are the framelits that go with the tropical escape paper. This is called, they're called the tropical thinlets. And I'm gonna use this one right here. See how it comes apart? It actually makes two leaves. That's why I'm cutting it with you guys instead of ahead of time because I want you to see what it does. All right. We're gonna cut one in shaded spruce. Let me make sure I have the, yep, shaded spruce. I couldn't decide which green that was. Shaded spruce, that's what's in that DSP. And then one in granny apple. Mm -hmm. 
Meredith, I see your comment. You need the stamp set. It's too cute not to get. It's too cute. There's a lot of cute things. All right, let's see if it'll pop out. Sometimes if you take your framelits and you drop it on the table, it'll, it'll pop out, but this one doesn't want to. I do that a lot. I'm lazy. I don't want to find all my tools. All right, now this one, you'll see when it comes out, it comes out with two pieces. You see that? And a lot of times when I've used this set, I've actually just used that piece, but we're gonna keep it together like that, okay? Put my framelits back so I don't lose them. Now, have you guys seen the foil in the Celebration catalog? There's two colors, and this one I'm hoarding. It's beautiful, it's called Lovely Lipstick, and the other one is called Grapefruit Grove, but it's more like Rainbow, the other one. I, I haven't played with it, I really need to play with it because I've been seeing some amazing things with it. Um, it's free and you get four sheets of each, so that's a lot. All right, so we're gonna take this leaf right here, we're gonna hold it together and we're gonna put it kind of coming off the back of our Whisper White stitched oval. And this is the, let me see if I can remember, yes, the third largest. So if you're looking at the stitched ovals, oops, I did that again. Leave that on there for right now. See how I'm putting this on here? I'm just putting some dimensionals to hold it in place. The third largest. Now we'll get this one. And this one is going to get a glue dot, a mini glue dot right there in the front. And I'm gonna slide it back so that it's just kind of back here, like that, all on the back. All right, now our gorilla. I'm gonna put my dimensional, ooh, ooh, wait, I forgot the heart. We'll do that in a second. I'm gonna put my dimensional on this side of my gorilla with his gray beard. <laughs> See what I did? All right, and then I'm gonna put that over here. Now the reason I put that dimensional over there is so that then I can slide this behind like that. Right, see how that works? All right, put a little bit of that, because I always end up having to cut so much off that then it kind of becomes deformed paper. All right, there we go, one last thing, this gorgeous, lovely lipstick foil heart, cut with the new Valentine framelits, the Be Mine stitched framelits. Let's see, where do we want it like that? All right, look, how cute. Last but not least, take off those dimensionals. I'm gonna do one more here in the middle. And ta-da! And there's your eight, your eight box. That sounds weird, eight box. I don't know, a gorilla box. Or a gorilla and an eight the same? I'm sure somebody out there knows. All right, let me put this one back together. What do you guys think? This, this would be great um, for a guy. Um, for a boy, for a dude, for a man. If you have a son and you wanna make Valentine's, these would, these would be really cool for him, right, I think. I mean, it has a pink heart, but most of it's not lovey and hearts and all that. I don't know. All right, good, I'm glad you guys like it, it's fun. One more, one more. Now this one actually uses two different stamp sets. I really kind of tried to pull in some of the things that you might have at home, some non-traditionally Valentine things that weren't specifically made for Valentine's Day. So that's what I have been trying to do with this. All right, have you guys seen these? These are Tabasco Jelly Bellies. Now, it sounds disgusting to me because I don't like anything spicy, but I do like Jelly Bellies. But my husband is obsessed with hot sauce. His doctor told him that hot sauce was good for his heart. So now he thinks that if he puts hot sauce on everything he eats, that he's being super healthy. Even if it's like a plate of fries. <laughs> he thinks if he drenches it in hot sauce, it like cancels everything out. So when I saw these, I thought about him and I thought that would be really fun. Um, and I wanted to change the sentiment in there's some you know other sentiments there in the set but i thought hey hot stuff would be really cute with these so these are from again five below and they were i don't remember how much they were 
maybe two dollars each i can't remember but i did link you over there to um amazon they are on amazon you can get a three pack there for like eleven dollars so you can find them if you don't have a five below all right so let's get started let's make the holder first um oh and the reason why you guys i hope that makes sense the reason why i use the alligator the crocodile is because when I think of crocodiles or alligators, not crocodiles, but alligators, I think of Louisiana. And what else do you find in Louisiana but lots of Tabasco sauce. So that was my thought process. I don't know if it makes sense, but in my mind, it makes sense. Okay, page two of our PDF, here are our measurements. This is Lovely Lipstick, seven by three and three fourths. I'm gonna score, let's do this long side first, five, and six and a fourth, and then the short side at one and a fourth, and two and a half. This one's easy. This one is made similarly to the hand sanitizer holders that I make, if you guys have made those. It's kind of the same thing, just taller. All right, burnish your lines, get your scissors, and this time we're not cutting anything off, we're just cutting up to that score line. Yes, use your bone folder if you have it. Mine's now buried somewhere here. Oh, here it is. Well, all right. Let me do that just for good measure because it does do a better job. Now, you're going to notice when we fold this up that one of these tabs is smaller than the other, and that's okay. So don't message me and tell me my measurements are wrong. Okay, I'll show you. Take your middle one, your middle squares, fold them in, and put adhesive on the front side. Fold them up into the side, so they're actually on the inside. Now take this one and fold it to the front. So you can see how this measurement right here, this tab, and this are two different sizes. The reason I did that is because I want this to be shown. And if I went higher, it's gonna start covering it up. So that's why I kept that short, okay? All right, so now put adhesive on the inside of these tabs right here and fold them over. Now we're gonna take scissors, and I really want my big scissors. Where are they? Here they are. We're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna go from here where these points meet. And that one's sticking out a little bit. I don't know why, I'm gonna just trim it off. Both of them, see how they're just sticking out? If that happens to you, just trim them off. All right, now we're gonna go from this corner, this little point up here to this top corner. And I have found that starting at the top is easier than starting at the bottom. Okay, see how we're creating a diagonal there. We're gonna do the same thing here, although I am gonna have to start at the bottom and go all the way to the top. So there is your main construction. It looks kind of weird right now, but it's gonna make sense. Now to get this guy to stay in here, I'm taking two dimensionals, and I'm gonna put one there on the bottom and the other one right on top. That's gonna to give us just a little bit of stickiness right there, okay? And that's the holder. See how when you cut those sides at an angle, you can uh, see it a little bit better. Okay, now let's make our alligator. I'm gonna stamp him on Whisper White Thick with Memento Black. And I ended up using Call Me Clover for him because I originally colored him and he was so cute in Granny Apple Green. But it did not match my the green here of the Jelly Belly logo. It was too yellowy, too light. So I stamped him again and Call Me Clover was the winner. The lighter Call Me Clover does look a little, you know, like, oh, that's not really right. But once we add in that dark color, you'll see it kind of changes the whole look. So go over him with light, and actually, I don't know why I'm trying to stay in lines. We're gonna do the whole thing, his whole body here. Okay, now grab your dark. I have to get down here so I can see. 
Take your dark calmy clover, go around his teeth, make sure you don't color those teeth in. Go under his hat and then along his jaw, down here, along his belly and right there, there's a shadow. And then along the bottom and kind of up the end of his tail. Now go back with your light and blend all that darker call me clover in with a lighter call me clover. All right, see, doesn't that look good? Now he has these stripes on his belly. I'm not sure what that's about. I'm sure there's alligator anatomy that I'm unaware of, but I'm just coloring <laughs> one dark, one light, one dark, one light. And, oh, oh, wait a minute, his eyelids. I'm gonna do those in dark too. Ooh, he's got kind of a hey look on his face. Hey, hot stuff, that's what he's saying. All right, lovely lipstick again. And, whoops, I forgot to go color in his little spikes. I'm sure there's a name for this. You guys, I'm not, don't, don't tell me. I'm not an animal scientist. I'm not a zoologist. I don't know the correct names. All right, get your little scissors again. We got a fussy cut. Don't whine, just do it. It's worth it. All right, so again, go around, leaving just a little bit of a white border. So I filmed the three clean videos and they have not even left my phone yet. It has been a kind of one of those days um, where I cannot seem to get done what I need to get done, but I'm gonna work on it this week, this, this evening. Um, now look, what I'm gonna do with these spikes, you guys, I'm just gonna go around like this. If you wanna get fancy and you're not on a live Facebook feed, you can go in between each one. These scissors would do it. All right, also if you're in my Stampin' Blends Club, my daughter, she's home um, today because they had finals this week and I don't know, they get out early or something. <laughs> anyway, she put all your kits together. They were all ready. They're gonna go out in the mail tomorrow. So I'll be sending you guys an email shortly. Okay, now let's stamp the other things that we need. This is the heart from why does my table end up like this? I'm so organized. And then it just looks like a tornado. Wood words. I liked that scratchy heart right there. I thought that was kind of masculine for a heart. If a heart can be masculine. Ooh, I'm going way over time today. My daughter's riding her bike home. I hope she's okay in the, it's not really raining. It's just kind of yucky. All right, now the other stamp set I am using is this Labeler alf Alphabet. This is great when you wanna make your own sentiments, okay? You just take off all the letters and put them together. One tip I have for you is to cut off some of that extra photopolymer there um, in between so you can get them closer together on your block. That will help and now this one, we only have one F, so you're gonna have to stamp that and then grab your, <laughs> did I not go get it? Oh yeah, here it is. Go grab your chamois and clean it off because we're gonna have to move some of these letters around. Then, and these, let me, let me tell you from experience, these stamps get lost easily. So when you take them off, put them right back where they need to go, okay? Now, take that F, because we need one more F, and just stamp it right there. They don't all have to be out on there at the same time, right? Now, we've gotta take the E and the Y off of hay, and then I've got the O right here. And did I put the T back? Yep, we need the T. All right, so then I like to lay them down on my table like this and then go get the block and squish it on there. They are never gonna be perfectly straight. That's kind of the idea with this set. So don't be too hard on yourself when you're trying to get them perfect, okay? Because they're not gonna be. All right, Mr. Alligator, you go sit over there while we get the big shot. Over here, 
my glue dots are stuck to everything. My husband even had one stuck to him last night. It was like, what is this? And I said, that's a glue dot, honey. Don't you know? How can you be married to me and not know? Now, did you see how that jumped? Look, if I tried to put it there and it went, it, well, of course, not going to do it. I put it there and it jumped. So when that happens, just move your paper over to where it jumped and slide your framelit over. I don't keep my glue dots in their box. I kind of feel like ain't nobody got time for that. That's kind of how I feel. My, my glue dots just sit out and get used all day long like this. I don't know about you guys, but I don't, I don't have time for that. All right, now take your scissors and just cut out your little words. Hey, I knew today was gonna go a little bit long because of my coloring. When we have to color, it seems to take a little bit longer. And we have three things to color today. I'm gonna give this to my husband tonight. We'll see if he eats them. He just thinks he's so healthy with all his hot sauce. All right, <laughs> crumb cake. I embossed it with the pine wood planks embossing folder. I did it ahead of time because I had a feeling we would be running behind. I'm gonna cut off one plank. I would probably rather use my paper trimmer, cut it at an angle like we did before. Now, when we put all this together, did I, oh yeah, I did, okay. I want you to kind of look at what you're doing because you don't wanna cover up that, that <laughs> Tabasco label because I think that's, very important, right? Because otherwise I'll be like, what is this? All right, so put your little plank, your wood plank there, then your alligator. <laughs> Good, Kathy, I'm glad I'm not the only one. And I'm gonna put them over here to the side, and then we're gonna do the heart. We're gonna squeeze it down like that, a little bit lower, then, it's time for the hay hot stuff. Oh, you guys, I like when you give me hearts. That's very sweet. All right, here we go. Oh, no, that's hot. We'll put that one in the middle. Hmm, let's see, how do I wanna do that? Hey, hot stuff. There we go. Ah, oh, it needs to be a little bit higher. Okay, you guys, so now all of you are going to go run to Five Below after work today, and you're going to get your Tabasco um, Jelly Bellies, uh oh, where's my ribbon, and you're going to get your banana flavored Now and Laters, and then there's probably a Bath and Body Works in the same shopping center where you can go get your spray and you'll be ready for all your cute little Valentines that aren't just like everybody else's. And get your Swedish fish. I got my Swedish fish there at Five Below too. Five Below is rocking it when I went. And they didn't really have anything specific Valentine's Day when I went. When I design projects, it's like two months ahead of time, so nothing's in the store. It's always hard. There we go. This is the quarter inch grow grain lovely lipstick ribbon you got to tie it on there give it some ribbon all right let's look at them all together let's see here's a stinky skunk and the alligator and the otter and the ape okay you guys don't forget if you want these three make and takes they will come free to you if you put your order in your $30 order um, at stampinup.com, use this host code, and that's ha how I will know you want the three make and takes. I would suggest getting the Hey Love and whatever blends you don't have that you need to go with it. And then decide which ones you really wanna make and you can add on some of that paper or even the framelits for the, the rose trellis. And then you'll be up to at least $50, maybe if you add in all of it, you'll be up to $100 and you'll be able to choose from the celebration catalog. And I'm telling you guys, this is like the sleeper. This this uh, foil paper is a sleeper in the celebration catalog. It's so beautiful. 
All right, thanks guys. Thanks, Vicki and Carol and Mary Ann and Debbie. Wow, and Christine and Karen. Yeah, adult Valentine gifts, right? So thank you, y'all are so sweet. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Look over on my blog for the details and on YouTube, hopefully tomorrow, all the clean recordings. Have a great week. And remember, no fa Facebook Live on Tuesday, but I will be back on Friday. Have a great weekend, you guys. Bye-bye.